Hi, it's Jason. It's Jason again from stemonline.com, uh, where we help uh, students from grades 11 all the way up to and including the second year university level uh, math and uh, physics courses. Okay, so uh, I want to go back to uh, integration. Uh, I made one video on integration uh, that someone liked a lot. And it, I feel like it's something I should continue with, uh, with some of these calculus videos that I've done. So, because I haven't really tackled that much with integration, so I should do another video on integration. Okay. So, uh, integration is important. It comes up in AP calculus, uh, IB calculus, and definitely in university. So, it's something you need to grasp very well. Okay. Uh, today, though, we're going to look at a specific technique of uh, integration called um, uh, by U substitution method, okay? So uh, let's define a certain uh, formula here, okay? So let's say, let's highlight this, capital F, just one second, so capital, capital F of X is our antiderivative, that's what an integral is equal to, it's an antiderivative, is equal to the integral, okay, of F, of g of x, right, times, okay, times g prime of x. Okay, so one second. So times, times g prime of x dx. Okay, this is, uh, this is the uh, u substitution method for integration. Okay, so if we have an integral of some composite function, it is then multiplied by its differential g prime of x dx. So here you would say let so let uh, let u right, so let u equal to g of x. Right, so this part here is my u. Okay. Uh, then my du. Okay. My du will be equivalent to g prime of x dx. That's my du. Okay, so one thing here is my u, right? my inner function of the composite function, and this is my du that I'm highlighting. Okay, this will make more sense when I do a problem. Okay, so let's look at a specific example. So let's look at this question. Okay, so let's, we're going to find the integral of the following function, okay? Okay, so let's say we want to solve right, this indefinite integral, okay? So I'm going to solve this. So we want to solve the indefinite integral of x cubed. Right, x cubed all over the square root of 1 plus x squared with respect to x, okay? All right, so to solve this integral, right, here we would have to use u substitution. So now how do we know uh, what method we need to use when it comes to uh, uh, integrating functions, okay? Usually a key giveaway uh, that will tell you that you have to use u substitution is the fact that you let your u equal to some g of x, okay, such that when you take the derivative of that g of x function, okay, that exact derivative shows up somewhere in your fun uh, attached to your integral, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I mean here. Uh, so we're looking at this integral, okay? okay so we're looking at the integral of x cubed, x cubed dx all over the square root. 1 plus x squared, okay. So if I let my u equal to 1 plus x squared, right now we would have a problem. Because right now, if I let my u, right, if I let u, so let's say I let, let u equal to 1 plus x squared, and I take my differential of u with respect to x, I get 2x dx, right? Because when I find the u, I'm taking the derivative of this. Right, so that's 2x dx. You'll notice that there's no x dx factor anywhere in the integral. Right now I have x cubed, so that's a problem. 
Okay. So it looks like it's not u substitution, uh, but it actually is, because there's no other way to integrate this. Okay. Uh, so what we can do is we can, here's a trick, we can split up the x cubed. Okay. So this would now be equivalent. Okay. This is equivalent to the integral of x squared. Okay. Okay, this is x squared, just give me one moment, x squared, times x dx. See what I mean? In other words, you can manipulate this by splitting up the x cube into each of its uh, exponential factors, right? x squared, is, x squared times x is equivalent to x cubed, okay? All over the square root of 1 plus x squared, all right? Now, how does this work? How is, how is u substitution going to work here? Uh, if I let, so now I'm going to use my u substitution method. I'm going to let, let u, okay, so let u equal to 1 plus x squared. That means my du is equal to 2x dx, right? This is a 2x dx factor, okay? Uh, you'll notice in the numerator, we have a x dx here, okay? However, though, we need to get rid of this too. So uh, I'm gonna rearrange this. This implies that if I divide by one half, I get one half du equals x dx. So one half du will be substitute for x dx here, okay? So that's good news, all right? So now, so that's one thing. In other words, we need to, uh, what I'm saying is, we need to uh, substitute all the x's for either u's or du's. That's why it's called u substitution, right? There should only be u's and du's in my integral, okay? And then from there, we should be able to uh, come up with a very basic way of integrating. It becomes very straightforward after, okay? So right now, I solve my x dx in terms of d, uh, du, okay? Uh, now, what am I going to substitute my x squared, right? I can substitute my x dx with the one half du. I can substitute my one plus x squared with u, but I still have an x squared remaining. Simple. Take this guy here, rearrange this. Solve for x squared as a function of u. This now becomes x squared equals, okay, u minus one. Okay, so it's a u minus one. This is a u minus one. So this is going to be handy. And this will be handy. Okay, and this in a way. Okay, so we're going to substitute this information. So substitute in to into. Okay, we're going to substitute into guy here. Okay, so this integral now. Okay, so I'm just going to write this over here. So I'm just going to put an arrow. This is now equal to the integral of, well, x squared is just u minus one. Okay, so u minus one. Uh, x, and my x dx is equal to one half du times the one half du, okay? All over the square root, x squared plus one. Uh, let's see what that was. x squared plus one was just u. I don't need such a big square root here. Okay, I like things proportional. It's a mathematical thing. Square root of uh, u here, okay? All right, and then from here, the one half goes to the front, all constants are moved to the front, so one half integral of u minus one with respect to u. Okay, u minus one with respect to u. So du here, all over the square root of u. Okay, so what can we do with this? It still looks messy. One thing we can do is bring, is to rewrite this as one half integral of u minus 1 with respect to u all over u to the 1 half. I'm writing this from a radical to a function to raise to an exponent. It's the same thing. Then over here now, I can move this. u to the 1 half is equivalent to u to the negative 1 half. So this becomes 1 half times integral of u to the negative 1 half times u minus 1 with respect to u. Okay? With respect to u. Okay, let's go over here now. Uh, you'll notice uh, here, okay, that you can have 
the following, right? Now that I've written it as a as a, a power function, you can just distribute everything inside, right? Distribute, distribute. Right? So this is one half integral, right? Integral. Okay. Of if I multiply these, I'm adding exponents. U to the negative of a half times u is give, gives me u to the one half. Minus minus u to the negative one half. Okay, and this is all with respect to u from multiplying out uh, this integral here. Okay, then from here I'm going to I'm going to uh, bring in the integral to each function. This becomes one half integral u to negative a half uh, du minus one half integral of u to the negative a half uh, du. Okay. Now these are very easy to integrate. We got through the tough part of setting it up. Okay. You'll notice that each integral can be integrated using the following formula. Okay. So we're going to use use the integral formula integral of a power function x to the n dx is equal to x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, right, plus c. This has, there always has to be a c, it's an indefinite integral, okay? This is what we're going to use. You're going to use this guy. Okay, so if we follow this formula, right, you'll notice that this now becomes 1 half u to the 1, negative 1 half, half, plus 1 divided by negative 1 half plus 1, okay? Right, n plus 1, n is 1 half, negative half. And then same thing for the other guy, negative 1 half. Okay, u to the negative 1 half plus 1, all divided by negative half plus 1. Don't forget the plus c. And you'll see over here now, Right, this simplifies to being one half. Yeah, one half u to the to the one half. Okay, u to the one half all over one half. This is divided by one half, and it's multiplied by one half here. And then we have minus one half bracket u to the one half, all divided by one half plus c. Okay, this becomes u to the one half. Okay, this is u to the u to the one half minus u to the one half plus c, where u was equivalent. We said what our u was. Yeah, so our u was the one plus x squared. Right, u was one plus x squared. One second here. Just want to see something. Okay, wait. Might have made a slight mistake somewhere with my exponent. U to the negative half by u to the one. One minus a half is a half. U to the negative half. Okay, so one is one half. The other one isn't. Yeah, one half. Yeah, yeah. So this should have been one half. Damn it. Be careful with your. Uh, positive and negative exponents, u to the one-half here. This is u to the negative half. So this was u to the one-half plus one, yeah. Yeah, yeah be very careful. Very easy to make a mistake like that, one-half. That was one-half plus one divided by one-half plus one. Yeah, one-half plus one. Plus one, the other, the other one's fine. This is one-half plus one, it's three-halves. Damn it. Three-halves. Divided by three halves, so that was the mistake. Okay, this in the top here is u to the three halves. Uh, divide. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. The second one was fine. U to the one half. We said, yeah, this is fine. One half. Yep. Okay, so this is three halves. That should be a third. Yeah, this would be one third. When you flip the reciprocal, to use cancel. So it'd be equal to a third. Okay, this is one third. 
of u to the one half minus u to the one half. This now becomes one third. One third. Our u was one plus x squared. Okay. So substitute all u's for x's because we want to integrate as a function of x. So we have to replace it with one plus x squared to the one half. Let me see here. Three halves. Yeah, careful. I forgot that. That was a three here. Three. U to the three halves. Yeah, this is three halves again. Yeah, three halves minus u. Again, one plus x squared to the one half plus c. And that is our answer to this indefinite integral. I hope seeing a problem like this has clarified how to use u substitution. Uh, not just how to use it, but also uh, sometimes you may be required to split things up, right? You may need to split certain expressions up uh, that are equivalent to the original expression such that you can um, such that you can find a, an appropriate func uh, u function, right? That will give you uh, the appropriate differential in order to integrate, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Uh, there will be plenty more videos coming soon. Have a good day.